Dude, you're literally moving the whole entire car, dude. Ain't dude. that something, man? That is crazy. This will do for now, but dude, check this out, man. Y'all haven't seen that helicopter in a while. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we were working on the well house, trying to match it up to the actual house. We got the stone, we got the hardy, and we even got the paint, and this sucker is looking absolutely amazing. There is still a little bit more to go painting wise and also we got to install a few gutters here and there but as you can tell it is raining so we won't be able to do that today we're actually thinking about working inside the house over there but we got the mud guys in there they're actually sanding the walls which is going to allow us to paint the whole entire interior here really soon so we're super excited about that but we actually don't want to get in their way so we won't be able to work in there and honestly there's not really much we could do here up on the mountain with this weather so what we decided to do is actually run to the original goon squad garage and work on some cars because we got some unfinished projects and a few other builds going on and honestly i just want to see how rusty we are because it's been a minute so i said we just go ahead hop into the truck run down the mountain and just get straight to work So we are finally back at the original Goon Squad garage and look dude. who we got here, dude. dude. We got Max over there and we got Buddy over here, dude. They're just chilling, man. Dude, they're all grown up. I mean, we come by here on the weekends. We see them all the time. Oh, but... yeah, but for you guys, man, y'all probably haven't seen them in forever. And Mako, come here, dude. Look at this guy, man. He dude, just, he grew... just he he turned was... him to a bear, man. Dude, he was a little pup. Now he's massive, dude. Oh, but anyways, God. dude, it feels good to be back, dude, man. Dude, it feels amazing. Look at the cars back there. Just chilling, dude. just dude. chilling, man. I say we go ahead and start working some... Start working on one of these suckers dude, dude i am ready but one thing i noticed about this place is it is a little bit noisier dude, dude it's really noisy i mean you got two main roads like on either either side of this property you hear the roosters crowing i mean you just hear everything dude, right i kind of miss it to be honest with you man oh yeah man i miss that garage right there dude i say we get back in there man dude we're about to show you guys what's going on in there it's pretty dang crazy pretty messy because i mean it's been a, it's been abandoned by us for a while dude <laughs> rebuilding the abandoned goon squad garage right now <laughs> dude it's been a minute but you know what at our property it's super peaceful dude i like both places you know oh yeah but can't wait to build like a big a big garage up there it's gonna be really nice but as of right now dude we gotta go ahead and probably work on one of these cars and i'm thinking the super over there we never 100 percent fully finished that thing dude, dude and we got some aftermarket parts of course we got that wing from yep. tj hunt oh dude, my that's goodness. gonna be that's gonna be sick and we got some carbon fiber bits here and there so dude, and some parts at the dealership oh yeah right? we do have some parts so we got to pick some stuff up but before we do any of that say we go inside that garage show them what's going on maybe even do a cleanup in there dude Thank <laughs> you. 
Alrighty guys, so check this out. We gave this garage a quick little clean. It could use more, but you know what? This will do for now. Yeah, this dude. will do for now, but dude, check this out, man. Y'all haven't seen that helicopter in a while, man. First off, what's in your head, man? Dude, I, I'm just a screwdriver, a man. A flathead, man. Sometimes you need a flathead, you just go up to this side and just twist it open or something like that. Dude, that is just the coolest little gift right there. And this right here was just a fan mail that was actually slightly cracked open, so we decided to actually go ahead. Peek and inside of it. Dude, inside. check that out, dude. I was like, dude, this is just totally legit. I'm just gonna be walking around town with this on, see what people say. Dude, Pops absolutely love that as well. We made him put it on, and this is cool as well. Look at that. That's from Spoon Man Creations right there, man. It's cool stuff. Super thought, creative, man? and who would have thought he would have even threw in a 10 millimeter there, dude? Yeah, might pull that <laughs> off here soon. <laughs> but anyways, back to the helicopter here. Dude, dude, big news on this thing. We're gonna have most of these parts coming in here real soon. I mean, it does take a good bit of time for all this, because these are some major components coming in. I mean, some very awesome stuff. I mean, very I can't awesome. wait to start piecing this thing together. That's like our number one thing on our list right now is to hop back on this helicopter as soon as possible and start throwing this thing together because we got to go up in the sky, man. Dude, we got to. That's my, dude, I really want to get up in the sky and we're going to do it. One, my number one goal is to land on the new Goon Squad headquarters property. That is the number one dude. goal, dude, just to land this sucker from the original Goon Squad garage all the way to the new headquarters, well, man. We're going to fly it from here to there. Dude, that would be awesome too, if man. possible, man. If possible, we definitely well, We'll do that. Dude. What I'm most excited about this helicopter is the, the paint job that it's going to get, dude, because we're going to do some crazy color schemes on it. There's but... just so much color schemes that we can do, like something that's totally unique, different. We can do lines like it is right now. I mean, let us know. I mean, drop your comments down below because we're still thinking about this. Yes, stuff sir. Right and here. this this stuff is coming up here real soon. TJ Helicopters, we're, we're going to make a phone call here real soon, real soon you guys. Man. But anyways, we got other cool parts in boxes and just all over the place, dude. dude. We got parts for all types of builds, but right now we're trying to get uh, the super in the garage, right? Yes, sir. That's why we did a quick little cleanup. It's not going to be able to get fully hey, pulled in here. Will fit. I mean, the Supra is a pretty tiny car. You know what I mean? It's a small little two-seater. So I say we go ahead, fire it up, give it a little cold start, maybe some revs, let it crack one pop, and then pull it inside. good nice and shiny man dude the very first thing that i noticed is the weave of carbon fiber and that's a nice uniform weave dude like weave throughout this whole entire thing there's no like weird little like imperfections and stuff that you usually see in cheap carbon but dude this right here is legit dude, man. and this right here is an ebay special of course right yeah it's an ebay special but it is made by sabon it's just i mean this thing nearly took like two months to get dude, here dude. it took forever sabon or sabon whatever you call I it i think but... you they actually make him to order that's why it takes super long and this little piece right here was over two thousand dollars yeah dude, that is crazy dude but you know what i'm so happy that we ordered it because it's going to transform the front end of the super dude dude that's going to look super dude. sick i'm wondering if you have to take off the stock lip off of this thing to install this i right think here. you do but we're definitely going to do like a little bit of a quick research unless there's some instructions in here which we don't usually use, we don't those, usually suckers. use those we'll just probably end up just like throwing this sucker on as quick as possible but i mean it looks kind of intricate because as you can tell there's all types of stuff going on i never because the original lip is three pieces this is Ooh, one piece one so piece we're gonna have to figure that out yeah i think that shouldn't be an issue but you know what i wish we would have ordered the rear diffuser dude, dude the rear diffuser was super sick all carbon but it that thing was almost like three grand or yeah, something it was like a that. lot more expensive but i'm guessing more carbon dude. dude who knows we may even end up buying that but we do have the street hunter rear spoiler that has carbon in the middle dude that's gonna look really dude, good it's man. definitely gonna flow properly so maybe we won't even need that rear yeah. diffuser the rear end looks good on this super so dude, the front end is gonna look really good now with this dude, dude Let's go ahead and I guess figure this sucker out and what, slap it on? Let's do it.
Now that right there is what the Ooh. front of a Supra should look like, Dang, dude. Dude, it actually sits way lower now because look, the lip actually steps down right here. That's about an inch lower, dude. That looks really dude, good. Dude, super clean. And it also sticks out like further right towards like the yeah, front end. it definitely sticks out further, dude. That is sick, man. That's that's what we were looking for right yeah, there. Yeah, sir, dude. and the fitment. How's the fitment? The, the fitment's fitment. on point, The fitment dude. is probably like an eight out of 10, you know what I mean? Because there was some weird looking tabs that this sucker actually like clips on. It's kind of random, but you know what? It works. It's on there, and it looks good, dude. Looks absolutely amazing. So I guess it is finally time we're done with the front end here. We're not going to do anything else crazy up front, are we? Dude, who knows, man? Who knows? A carbon Only time, fiber hood, dude. A carbon fiber hood would look pretty sick, but I kind of like the black right now. You know what I mean? Maybe do this like some. Maybe I wonder if they have carbon fiber like vents for right here, which we never installed our original plastic ones. We should probably throw that in today as well. Yeah, we'll dude. throw that in. Wait, are those real vents or fake vents? No, these are actually real vents. These are real vents. Uh, they go all the way through inside oh, the hood, nice. dude. nice. Some carbon fiber mirrors. Ooh. No, I like, a red is probably better, dude. This is for the GR edition, Yeah, GR. Right? That's why I kind of like that, dude. But they do have a carbon fiber roof, dude. No way. And a carbon fiber trunk lid and a carbon fiber door. <laughs> a carbon fiber door? I think so. I think they have everything Or is it like just that. this little seal? I remember or, seeing or that. Or it may be just a seal. But anyways, I say we move on to this box right here, with, which Thomas is waiting for us to open up right here. This is actually the Street Hunter wing, which we did show you guys a little glimpse of it in a couple videos back on the Supra but today we're actually gonna go ahead and fully install this thing on the car it's not painted just yet but we want to go ahead and actually get that sucker bolted down that way once it's bolted down we can go ahead and remove it and prep it and paint it Dude, you're literally moving the whole entire car, dude. Ain't dude. that something, man? That is crazy, dude. Look at that. That sucker is stout. That's the most stout wing I've ever seen, dude. That's what dude. I was about to say, man. That is super crazy. You can even push your car with this wing, dude. That is just insane, man. Dude, that is crazy. So not only is it the most stout wing ever, it's the best looking wing Dude, ever, I gotta man. agree, dude. This is the best looking aftermarket wing for this car. I've seen so much wings for this car, even like an older style wing for the new Supra. I don't know, man. This beats it all right here. Dude, dude. this is absolutely insane insane looks absolutely and now we're flowing properly we got carbon in the front carbon in the rear dude that's perfect man all we got to do is just paint this sucker and we would be good man dude this sucker would actually look good on any bone stock super to be dude, honest with honestly, you dude honestly like if this was uh, your first mod that'd be perfect right here Thank anybody you. can do it this thing was super easy to drill to this is actually plastic right here dude that's crazy so all we had to do was just some templates and just drill six holes and it just bolted right up dude. took like five minutes to do super man. easy to do they should have came out the factory for the the GR edition, that's what they should have. the best Super, they didn't even come out with nothing, but dude, this right here, this is just tops it off. Dude, right that's here. just such a perfect wing right there. Super happy with it. And on top of that, not only is it a beautiful wing, it comes with a certificate of authenticity, the dude. Dang wing comes with the title, man. Man, that's how you know it's <laughs> Number legit. 50 right here, dude. That's how you know it's legit right there. But we're gonna paint this sucker. That's all we got left is just to paint it, right? Yeah, paint it. There is some caps that go over the, these little bolt holes right there, which will just make it super clean. But it is kind of cold tonight and it's already dark. 
dark. We don't want to tape anything off. Probably paint it in the morning when the sun actually comes out. And yeah, stuff we'll like paint that. that sucker up. But tonight we still got some more things that we want to do, right? Yep, we got to bring the cop car in, dude. Exactly. It's pretty crazy, dude. man. We haven't seen that thing in a while. I say we go ahead and fire it up, bring it in here, and show you guys exactly what we want to do to it. on that sucker dude man. how did they even do that that is crazy goon squad right up in there dude that must be like laser engraved or laser cut or Probably. laser burned dude something crazy dude got some carbon now all over this dude i love these alcantara steering wheels man they are the best they feel i mean it makes you feel like you're in a, 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 a race car or a something. race car yeah a tougher car than it is but dude this is perfect for the cop car because this thing man you just throw it around man you just do whatever man yeah and the crazy thing is did you notice that weight that was in there yeah there was like a little weight at the bottom i, I don't know what that's for I'm, I'm wondering if that's just the cop car steering wheel or something else maybe it's like perfect maybe just make throw around that or something way you like could that. whip this sucker around but yeah. that is super awesome aza auto wheel absolutely knocked it out dude they always do man i mean this is where you spend the majority of your time right if yeah. you're driving the car dude this is what you touch like if you're in your car this is the main thing you touch right this and the shifter knob so this is what you want you want a nice steering wheel that way you're always looking at it you're touching it you're driving the car this is legit man dude, that is super sick right there definitely check them out on instagram they got some they got all sorts they can make a wheel for nearly anything Thing, dude, dude definitely dude but i guess what do you say we got some more things that we got to do to the cop car but we'll may, we may say that for tomorrow or another day yeah another day or something like that but anyways it is super late so we'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and we already got this wing ready for some paint. We even threw a couple coats of primer this morning and wet sanded it with the 500 grit just to make it nice and smooth. That way we can just slick these suckers in. As you can tell, we got these suckers sitting out in the sun because it's a nice warm day today and hopefully the sun can just bake these suckers dry enough to actually throw back on the Supra, dude. Ooh, dude, that'd be awesome if we could throw them on today. I mean, already looks super good with the primer finish there, but it's gonna look way better paint match, dude. Oh yeah, definitely. So we're just gonna paint them right here we're gonna go ahead and actually set up our filtration system go ahead and get our guns ready for some paint mix up some super paint i think the mix ratio is like four to one two to one two who one. knows man we're still a little rusty but we're getting right back to it so i say we go ahead start getting everything ready mix them some paint and paint these suckers in
Alrighty guys, so check this out. We finally got these winglets painted and they are almost ready to be thrown on the car. But unfortunately, we threw a pretty thick coat of clear coat on it. So it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. And I'm thinking you're gonna see this uh, post probably on Instagram with it completely installed. I'll probably install it a little bit later. But that's pretty much it for the Supra. There's still a few more things that we gotta do. But there is a few other things that we gotta do to the other builds as well. So let us know what you guys think we should do. What are you thinking? Should we just buy a new build or should we just keep on building these dude, builds? We dude, we can keep on building these builds, but hey, you never know a good build might pop up and we might just pop up and bring it up <laughs> <laughs> hey that sounds like a plan to me but we got so much going on we got so much epic things coming here real soon but drop your comments down below drop your suggestions down below on new builds and what else you think we should do to any of these build, current builds that we have but with all that being said make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace